Hey guys, how's it going? It's my again and welcome back to my channel. So I'm pretty excited today because I'm going to be talking about virtual reality and augmented reality, how I'm going to be using them in my future games. So many of you know me from social media, on YouTube or Facebook, and I try to spread the word around all social media so that people know what I do and, and what I teach because that's one of the main things that are more important to me. It's also spreading knowledge. So today I want to talk about virtual reality and augmented reality because I want to do the same thing today. I want to be spreading the knowledge. I want to basically tell you what I'm doing so that if you're thinking about doing things like that, you actually get some knowledge from, from all my experiences. So for instance, I in the last couple of weeks, I've been looking into you know, getting a grant for the Magic Leap. I, yesterday I was checking my email constantly just to make sure that you know the grant that I applied for I got approved, but I didn't actually receive anything from them just yet. I, I went to social media, I tried to look for things, and I, I do want to jump into their platform and start releasing games for Magic Leap. I have some really good ideas. I also have some really good ideas for VR, which is why I joined the Oculus Store program for VR. And I, I, I've been thinking about both a little bit, and, and, and the reason why I think about both is because virtual reality and augmented reality are two different complete animals and in ways that you know if you think about the mechanics in a game for instance the game that i'm working right now it's a game about demolishing buildings so if you're building a game where you're going to have buildings and you're in virtual reality you might be able to do buildings that are you know enormous that are pretty big and you can do the same thing in augmented reality but imagine if in augmented reality you had a building that was that was huge and you needed to walk around you needed to actually fly to to actually place a bump in different areas but well, you couldn't do that in augmented reality because it's not it's not really practical for the game that i'm building but in virtual reality i can actually create a capsule where you know i'm sitting inside the capsule and say that i have a building that is huge and this capsule can move around the building in virtual reality easily without my body actually having to move so those are some things that you need to consider so when i'm when i'm making a game right now i i need to be thinking about okay how is this mechanic is going to work in virtual reality how is it going to work in augmented reality should i be focusing on both should i focus on one so you need to be asking yourself that question and, and how is this going to be you know how is it going to immerse the player so those are the things that i've been you know experimenting right now is okay if i want to release in this game for virtual reality how is the player gonna gonna be immersed into the experience? How is the player gonna be? How is he gonna be playing in augmented reality? Because in augmented reality, I could simply have a building that is basically twice the size of me, and and basically go around easily and and actually look at the building, look at look at the strategy behind demolishing this building, and if I have few cranes that I have to place around the building, it'll be easy for me to actually walk around, do those things. And, and then start the demolition and then basically blow up the building. But in, in virtual reality, I may want to get into the crane itself and control the crane, move it around. I may want to do, you know, I may want to immerse the player more. You, you need to be thinking about that when it comes to virtual reality and augmented reality. So I'm really excited. I think Magic Leap is going to be bringing a lot of really cool things. I, I haven't actually tried the Magic Leap yet. I actually ordered a new Magic Leap uh, set yesterday because I was eager to to get the grant but I didn't hear anything from them and I wanted to start you know testing so I don't know if I'm gonna get the grant or not but I'm I already ordered the hardware and I'm gonna be testing next week I'm I'm pretty excited to actually show you the Oculus Star the actual gear that they're sending me they're sending me a, an Oculus Rift and also an Oculus Go so those ones I won't get until April and next week I should be getting a Magic Leap, which I'm going to be actually showing in videos in the channel on how, you know, as I unwrap it and how we test it with Unity, how we can get, you know, a game running in Unity with, my, with Magic Leap and I start recording things as I get prototypes going in the Magic Leap. So that's basically what I wanted to talk to you in this video. If you guys have any questions about anything that I mentioned, let me know through the comments and don't forget to subscribe and share this video because it's really going to help me in creating more videos like these or better videos like these. Thank you guys.